Hello again and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, this is Storytime with Nana Lynn and Glow. I am Nana Lynn. Glow will be along. As I've said before, she's dealing with some family issues and we don't know how long it's going to take. So I took over the reading until the end of the month and then she's going to start again in February. So the title today for January the 30th is Milo is in a pickle again. I call out to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. And that is Psalms 3, verse 4, New International Version. The mother cat showed up a few weeks after I moved to, into my farm. She was so skinny, you couldn't even tell she was pregnant. Then one morning, I heard tiny mews of five kittens born to a mother who wouldn't let me touch her, but stayed because I fed her. I was allowed to reach into the small pet igloo where the litter was and pick up each kitten and handle it. All except one. I named him Milo. He hissed and tried to scratch and bite any time I tried to pick him up. Finally, I had enough and just picked him up anyway. He immediately began to purr. The loudest and meanest turned out to be the most loving of the litter and also the most prone to getting caught in odd places. I found him in the heating ducts and had to cut him out. I found him lost inside the pillowcase of a pillow, unable to get out until I came to rescue him. If there is a cabinet or a container that can be entered, Milo is drawn to it. Unfortunately, he knows how to get in anywhere. Getting out is not in his wheelhouse. So Milo calls to me with an identifiable scream. I follow until I find him and I get him out of whatever pickle he is in. God rescues us from pickles we get into and have no way of getting out of. Sometimes the fight to get out of something quicksands us deeper. Calling and waiting for love to find us is always better than struggling when we're lost. God, please find me in all my lost moments when I call out to you. Amen. Devon O'Day. We'll see you tomorrow.